What up friends, Jay here, and we are gonna bring you a little lineup update and then a gameplay. Uh, this is my team. Flashback to Sean, that Odell, Keenan Allen, Kelsey. Um, this was about a week ago this game was played and the lineup uh, here on defense. As you can see, we have a pretty, a lot of my players are from the gauntlet and journey things. So I put a lot of coins into getting like Clinton Portis and flashback. Chris Johnson and flashback d and then Dominic Rogers Cromartie. My current team right now is a lot different than what you're seeing on the thing. We're gonna, you'll be seeing that in the next day or so. Um, then we're gonna show you how my record was at the time of this. I believe I was ranked around 130. At the moment, I'm in the top 100. At this time, 136. Oh, that Greenlands guy just played in my CFM. Uh, what is my record? What is my record? 136 and 10. Not bad, not bad. Now here we're looking at his top three cards. Tory Holt, Antrell Roll, and Ty Law. Now we're looking at mine. Clinton Portis, flashback Deshaun Jackson, and seasoned veteran Dwight Freeney. And he will be receiving the ball at first. We are playing to Shermanator 1. He is, I believe, in the top 100. And I believe he has like 250 wins and like 150 losses. So, I mean, he's not a great opponent. But he can win. So he probably knows a little what he needs to do. And here, third and 12, going deep, testing me. Shoryuken. Eric Weddle comes down with the Sharyukin interception, and then we're gonna go into a ground and pound offense. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna talk. So, if any of you are in all Madden first string, second string where you're playing like top 100 people for the most part, you're gonna see every single person runs Mike Scrape three or three under, DB strike one, man press, Basically, everybody's, everybody's running the exact same thing on defense for the most part. And all variations of that. And 3 4 on. Like that tip video clip. And so basically, I'm going to run the ball. And I'm going to pound the ball. In my next game, you're gonna I, I'm, I play a guy who plays exactly like me on defense. And you're going to see me do the exact same thing. I'm basically FB dive, HB toss until you prove you can stop it. Because I'm not giving people a chance to fucking get some type of nano blitz on me. Even though I know how to slide protect... Here's a little info tech, a uh, little tip for you guys. Slide protect left. You're going to shut down almost every single blitz they're going to send at you. That's on the inside. And now back into the game. We're tossing the flashback, ja uh, Chris Johnson. He's a very good running back. I think Clinton Portis is better for sure. And you're not even, I don't even think I, you, you see me use Clinton Portis in this game. So that's why you're going to see I made a lineup chance because I, I spent so many coins on Clinton Portis. And I don't even use them unless I'm forced to leave this formation. But we're going up 7-0. Now we're going in the defense. And I'm going to give you another little tip. Don't run the hurry up offense. I'm just going to tell you. Don't run the hurry up offense. So see this guy? Running the hurry up offense. He's, you know, he's he's getting, he's he got some momentum. He's driving. Oh, let's hurry up. You know, he's like, oh, get, get about 15, 20 yards. You know, we're going to keep moving down the field. Not thinking about how tired his players might be getting. Not a big worry on his part. Oh, he caught the ball and tried to get the extra yards. Probably should have went down. But, you know, he didn't fumble. His team ain't getting tired. Oh, hurry up. I'm okay with this. I think I'm just basically just playing whatever on defense because I know how fucking glitchy that is. But, uh-oh. Pass is so intercepted. Oh, you get And that's an overthrow. The reason that was overthrown like that is 100% his players had no stamina left because he was running down the field like that. That or he pass led. And see, I take a sack right there. I'm like second 18. We're coming out in the exact same play. We got flashback D. Jackson. We know he's in cover three. And D. Jackson is going to go in, and he's going to fly in, and we're going to go up 14-0. And... You would think my opponent might have learned the first time coming down the field that you're moving the ball, but you shouldn't be hurrying up. But, did, I mean, when you overthrow a ball that quick downfield, I mean, they overthrow drags and like short routes, but if you, I, he has the 92 Tony Romo, 
He's definitely overthrowing it because of his players retired. But no, just keep going. Keep going. Moving the ball. I mean, it's a good strategy. I make the deflection, but he's already been hurrying up. Already. His players are going to be tired. So here, what are we going to go to? We're going to pick. We're going to go to quarters normal. Looks like. Do I go to two-man QB contain? Oh, look at me, that cheeser. I don't run this too often, but some people struggle versus it. I'm pretty sure. I don't think I go to FZ too deep. I usually run FZ too deep. Quarters normal is like really good for me. I'm sure you, everyone knows by now. What are, did I run? Yeah, I'm running. I'm doing the man press cheese. You hate this, sorry. Um, But look what happens. Hadouken! We hit the Hadouken! It's been a while since we've had a Hadouken, folks. And this is where he's going to quit. Voyakandias, bras. Thank you for watching.